in an emerging market with very dense cities and lower environmental standards on the fuels and on the engines, if you just look around, you'll see the particulates in the air. It's almost hard to breathe. It's gonna take us something like 20 years before most of the sales of new vehicles are electric, and then it's gonna take us decades to replace the vehicles that are on the road. We cannot afford to spend 50 more years burning gasoline and diesel and emitting carbon dioxide. The technologies that are required to bring EVs to mass scale are there, and that's what we set out to do. My name is Ali Al-Tayeb, I'm the co-founder and the CEO of Shift EV. I grew up in Cairo, Egypt. My dad was a biology professor, my mom was a chemical engineer. I was always curious about the world. Whenever I had a question, my mom and my dad never had a simple answer. It was like, let's open a book and dig into it and understand how that works. So my first thought when facing a problem is to try to deeply understand it. The cost required to build a new EV, develop it and bring it on the road, and for a customer to replace thousands of vehicles in their fleet is prohibitive. My thought was, what if we could sell the batteries independent from the vehicle? And then my co-founder, Amr, was thinking about a project to take an existing vehicle and make it electric. And I thought, what if we could do both at the same time? Take existing vehicles, make them electric, and rent out the batteries on a subscription. The cost of switching to EVs becomes very little without taking the risk of battery ownership. And in fact, they're going to make 20-30% savings in terms of operating costs without making any investment. We chose to focus on commercial vehicles. They're the perfect application for electrification. Number one, most commercial vehicles have fixed routes. You know exactly the range of the battery that you need. Number two, you can just install charging points at the operating base and have the vehicles charge overnight. Automotive products are about hundreds of thousands of kilometers of reliability and safety. Whatever we build it has to be automotive grade. This has to be scalable. We want every vehicle to be retrofitted in less than a day, and today we are at two hours per vehicle. The only way sustainability products are going to be mainstream is if they also save you money. We had arrived to a point where, on paper, everything makes sense. It was time to make moves. We brought our first vehicle, hired our first couple of engineers, and our first vehicle took a month to put together. We made all the mistakes that you can imagine, and in the end of that month, we got into it and drove it, it was just a magical moment and everything made sense. So then we thought, well, let's put it in the hands of customers and see what happens when the rubber meets the road. And the first trial with the customer was one of the most exciting things I've ever seen. I see the driver getting into a vehicle that looks familiar, thinking this is going to just be a routine experience, and then realizing that there's no sound, there are no emissions, and then that moment when they feel the power of an electric motor and the smile on their faces when they realize they've just stepped into a new future. My name is Mohammed Sami, and I am co-founder in Traxel. Companies, they face a huge problem when it comes to sourcing trucks for their business to distribute their goods. And of course, financially, this is putting a lot of burden on them. So we thought that we can be the filter between the trucks and the customer needs. We have been looking for uh, an electric vehicle solution, but the, the price is very expensive. The solution that Shift EV came up with to convert the current diesel uh, trucks into uh, electric and the subscription model that they are offering is uh, a very smart way for uh, the businesses because they won't put a lot of budget in it, just uh, monthly payments. This is what we're looking for, to have a less polluted uh, community and uh, to look for green energy and hopefully we can do that together. We are at a critical juncture when it comes to climate change. We have only years to really change how we do things across the economy. So transportation is a big 
chunk of world's climate emissions. Technology already exists to address that. But a $70,000 electric pickup truck is not going to be moving vegetables in Cairo anytime soon. Shift EV fills a really critical gap in the world of sustainability, and it's in transportation and emerging markets. For every vehicle, we estimate that we save about 12 to 18 tons of carbon dioxide per year. When we give an existing vehicle a second life, you're also reducing the emissions associated with recreating everything that's in the vehicle. That's another 18 tons of carbon dioxide for a small minivan. And one of my dreams, the moment that I'll feel that we've succeeded is to one day stand in traffic somewhere, whether it's in Egypt or elsewhere, and feel that the noise is lower and that the air is a little cleaner and the sky is a little bluer because we've electrified vehicles and we brought them on the road and they're mass scale now.